cutting or anything. I, I cut myself. Uh, was it Saturday? I think because I yeah. had a little scab. Oh no! I think when I was taking a shower one day, yeah. I was drying my hair. And I okay. Bit. Okay. <laughs> but it it was like only for a day that it really got a little bit. Not okay. Really good, but, how long ago was that? Uh, I think it was this past Saturday. Okay, I'm yeah, just going to take a peek. Now, it seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see where maybe you had a little... That does look good. Good. I had him look at it because I was like... <laughs> 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 Don't want anything messing with your opportunity to get the processor right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but putting it on Facebook and talking about it all. <laughs> Ever since May, so I'm sure my friends were like, hey, goodness. <laughs> now, aren't we missing a wireless accessory? Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go see if there's another bag. I've got your processor, but you're supposed to also get the uh, hub. Ex yeah, that little yeah. hub that goes around your neck, and I'm not seeing that. But maybe it's just Okay, at least it's on the processor. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> so we both had a big few months because you uh, you went through the surgery and, and well, through all your healing and then I was out the three months you were healing on maternity leave. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so I'm getting my bearings back. So even though they always do the appointments in reverse where you see me first to get the processor and then you see the doctor, mm -hmm. They do that because the doctor's schedule is a lot more unpredictable for right. how long you'll wait for him. Okay. But he's the one who gives you the actual final say that you can wear it full time. So you'll leave with it today. I've almost never had anyone have an issue. But if you get downstairs and he says, oh, that cut's a little deeper than I thought. I want you to wait another week or two before you wear it. He's the one who gives you the final clearance to then wear it full time. Okay. okay. But what we're going to do today is uh, set the volume of the processor, show you how to use and take care of it, and all of that fun stuff. My computer log done here. Getting it in time, we like to make sure we have enough batteries. Okay. <laughs> That's why I think it's going to be like a baby, you know, like a baby's like, oh, I have half a bottle of formula, time to get more formula. <laughs> <laughs> or need to pop a little bit more, you know, have bottles. <laughs> well, your batteries should last you about a week at a time. Okay. So the batteries are going to need changed about once a week. So they're like a standard hearing aid. They are standard hearing aid batteries, and they're size 675. So it, you can go anywhere that you bought your hearing aid batteries, Walmart, Target, Costco, Publix, Kroger, online, Amazon sells them. But I believe your hearing aid batteries were 13s or something. These are 675s, so they're, they're a little bit bigger. I can't, and I can't remember, forgive me if I'm wrong, exactly which size your hearing aids had. Did they come with, uh, I know when I got hearing aids before, they came with like, I think a month's worth. Of yeah, years. yeah. This uh, this has six in the package, so it'll probably get you uh, about six weeks um, before you'll have to buy your own. And batteries are poisonous if they're swallowed, so I know that I know that he's a good puppy. He's not going to be eating the batteries, but making <laughs> sure that they're nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere where pets can get to them. I tell Jacob, our youngest son likes to chew on things. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, no, that's important. Don't let him. Don't let him. So I'll make sure, probably, like with my old hearing aids, I had like a little box. Yeah. That I, I kept all my batteries and I would literally take, I know it sounds weird, but I would yeah. change the battery in the box <laughs> if I dropped it. Oh. I was very paranoid with those batteries. Oh, I, I really bet. <laughs> They're not blind friendly. <laughs> it's chopped. <laughs> My mom would always have to chase them down the way they would roll. Yeah. Well, they they are magnetic, so if you can get oh, a um, so if you can get a little magnet out, sometimes you go. can uh, find box. them that way. <laughs> 
and there's a little there's a little tool in here that actually has a magnet on the end, so if it rolls too far under, you can grab it. <laughs> oh, that works. I've never seen those. That's nice. <laughs> so don't lose it, and I'll change it out to a little magnet. <laughs> well, go figure. We also got a new computer system just two weeks ago, and uh, sometimes patients who are scheduled before the oh. <laughs> And my brother-in-law preaching, and I'm like, <laughs> she likes to aggravate him. But he's not a big dog person. Oh, of course. So she likes to torture him. It's like they know, right? <laughs> they know who's on their side and who's not. They do. But she has, uh, she has managed to get some people on her side. Like yeah. Stephen. You weren't a big dog person either. Oh, oh no, no, you're not Stephen. You're no. just like <laughs> a friend of ours. A friend of ours. Uh, he, he's always been weird about dogs. Yeah. And finally, he actually now goes to Fresca and pets her head like, Aww. <laughs> of course, their basset hound, I think, too, has helped with that. Too. Yeah. Buttons. Okay, so I am going to get this hooked up to the computer, and the first thing that we'll do is actually set the volume of the device. Once the volume is set, then we'll talk about how to use and take care of it. And um, the way that we set the volume is kind of, it's kind of like another hearing test. Now we know this isn't a sound treated room, we know that it's not perfect, but through the processor you'll hear little beeping tones and I'll ask you to just raise a finger when you hear them. And based on how you respond, the, the company sets that volume. See how they do that. Now we have to come back after this to kind of just check out. It kind of depends. You know, a lot of people, the way it's set in the office on the first day, they get home and they say, oh, this is a little loud, this is a little soft, this could be better. And we can always change from where you're set today. Oh, okay. So some people need that and some people don't. I wouldn't be surprised if if you want a little tuning, since it's such a quiet office here, and Should then you get kids. out, and, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> you get out into the real world and it's like, okay, maybe this isn't exactly what I, what I wanted. Let's go walk around Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hear people at Walmart. No. <laughs> I'm excited, I think you're going to hear a lot better. Oh, okay. I've been counting down. Like, yeah. It was last week, so <laughs> like day by day. <laughs> and I still need to find where your streamer went. I'm hoping it got ordered. So this is where our office and Dr. Bennett's office aren't always in the best of communication because the surgery scheduler orders the device as part of your entire surgery. Mm -hmm. So if she didn't okay. read my note carefully and didn't order the accessory, then I definitely might have you to have you come back at least once to come pick it up. But okay. I hope that's not the case. Well, um, I'll I'll call call as 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 does that include with insurance or is yeah, that? Yeah, because okay. it should have been part of the device oh. under the whole order. Okay. So uh, is it the same thing with the other stuff? Like if I wanted to get more assessments? I think it comes with one. Oh. Uh, and then if you want more of them, then you have to pay for oh, more okay. of them. I didn't know if it was but like the initial, things. but the initial processor should have come with one accessory. And it could be that it's just maybe in the <laughs> yeah maybe I've fallen back on my shelf. I'll go check that in a moment. But I want you to at least be wearing it when I leave the room this time, so, I don't have to. so you can actually listen and play with it. I he'll be playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be finding Bluetooth things. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Look it up to everything you can. We're going to like all these department stores like, <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> like, oh, we're practicing with Bluetooth, it's okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to put it on. Okay. It's muted right now, so I'll, I'll tell you when I'm going to unmute it. But okay. I'm going to snap it onto the uh, oh. abutment. Sorry if my hair is... Oh, you're okay. I'm just going to try to snap it without getting any of your hair in there, because I don't want to give you any pains. Let me know. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. It just feels funny. You're like, you're not used to hearing a snap on your head? Uh, yeah, it's, it's very unusual. <laughs> All right, I'm going to unmute it now. Ooh. Okay, so the processor is on. 
The volume it's at right now is the generic volume the company has set you based on your hearing loss. So not necessarily the volume you're going to keep it. Okay. Um, that's why we're going to do this next measurement. It's okay. just like a hearing test. You're going to hear beeps through the processor, only it's less perfect because you're going to hear me on the keyboard. You might kind of know when the beeps are coming, but do your best just to kind of, anytime you actually hear the beep, just either raise your hand or let me know. Based on how you respond to that, the company's going to set your volume. Okay. okay. So, you're going to start hearing. Shot the right thing here. Okay. And they're going to softer and softer. Sorry. But they'll get softer and softer. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Just let me know every time you hear oh, it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, that's, that's coming in. Sudden, like, <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here's a different pitch. Okay. 
Great. All right. Based on how you just replied, the programmer, uh, the programming software is deciding how to set your loudness, and it should have come on. So you should be hearing through the processor now. I'm talking in an average tone of voice. I'm not raising my voice any. And I'm just going to let you listen for a little bit to get a sense of, you may know because you have experience with hearing aids, you may know if it's too loud, too soft right off the bat. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the quality of the sound you're getting? I like it maybe like a little bit more. Okay. Feel, feels like it's too soft? Yeah. All right. I'm going to bump you up here. Not too much, though. Like that was just one notch, so it may not even be a noticeable difference. It's okay. You just let me know if it needs to go up more, down Maybe more. Go up a little Go up a little more. more. Yeah. Here's one more notch up. Does that seem a little better to you? Seems like a little bit A little better. bit better. That's good. That's good. You hear, like, a lot of winding. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, hopefully, will help get rid of that. Okay. Your uh, processor has what's called a feedback manager, so that whistle that you didn't like from hearing aids called feedback. We're going to try to get rid of okay. any possibility that this processor could do that. Okay. It's kind of obnoxious because it's going to make this loud static noise through the processor for like 30 seconds. It okay. sounds like a TV set to a channel you don't get. Shh. Um, None of us are allowed to talk during that 30 seconds, but when it's done, it should hopefully take care of any possibility of feedback. Okay. So here we go. You're going to hear this obnoxious sound. Okay. Thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> now, did that take away any of the um, sound you were hearing, or are you still getting a little whoosh in the background? It sounds more like an air conditioner. Okay, it, kind of a little bit of an air, air conditioner, conditioner sound. Not as loud as it was. Okay. Might be you're getting a few too many kind of low pitches. I'm going to turn those down a little bit. Okay. Does that make it better, worse, or no different? Uh, not a big difference. Not a big difference. In that case, I'm going to put them back where they were, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try some of these pictures to see. Oh, <laughs> oh we got a little whistle. And uh, the next question I have, too, is are you getting that sound when I talk, when you talk, or when it's quiet? Uh, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's when you're moving your hand. It's when I was moving my hand? Okay. Yeah. I okay. don't know if it's like, sure. now it's not whistling. That's good. Of course, my brain's probably thinking, what's going on? No, it's okay. It's hard to, hard to get used to some of this different stuff. This feels weird. It feels like I have on headphones. Yeah. In a way, I have no headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Now, does this make the air conditioner sound better, worse, or no different? Um. A little bit more clear. Okay, okay. How about my loudness? Do you think I've uh, negatively affected how loud I am? Mm -hmm. You just understand. How about a male voice? Now you get to talk. <laughs> what I was thinking she was hearing was the the air conditioning. Right. There, there is a fan above us. Because when it's really quiet, I can hear the re return. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I never can hear that in the mouth. So. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm tuned for that. I, I yeah. do air condition work, so I, I listen. Oh, you listen for it. <laughs> Most of us try to tune that out, you know. <laughs> and there is. There is a fan gently running over your head. I okay, sure don't want it to good. feel like it's yeah. right, right on top of you. That could mean we've got certain things too loud, but you might just be hearing that fan running over you. I think that's what I'm hearing is that, because, like, when they said the chain came, I'm like, oh, wait, there's not be here. Okay. <laughs> Which is, I don't hear, so. Yeah. And there's also yeah. a little fan on the machine running yeah. somewhere oh, over yeah. there. Yeah, probably the computer down here. 
I usually can't hear that. So yeah. Noises, I think, oh, that's what's going to be. One thing I'm not used to hearing some sounds, it'll be like a squirrel on like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly right, because when you're not used to hearing something, your brain focuses in on it. So if I were to go buy a house by the train tracks every time an engine went by, you know, I'd be like, oh my gosh, there's another one, there's another one. Your brain calls your attention to those things that you're not used to. But when people, okay. now one of them is a kit that's for the surgical site. Mm -hmm. uh, in this little cloth, they've got special wet wipes that if you needed to moisten the area if you're starting to get debris okay. or shampoo yeah. crust in there. Along with a little toothbrush looking brush that you can actually brush the area with. After your mask. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and also cotton swabs if you feel you need to get around. This is just a, a mirror, a little compact mirror if you uh, needed help getting it on and yeah, off. Yeah, you a girl was getting it because you got makeup. That's right, that's right. You can use it for everything <laughs> else. So everything in the zipper pouch is to kind of take care of the, the surgical site. And then everything in the white box is going to be to take care of the actual processor. You get the same little brush because if you notice any debris building up, oh, okay. you can just brush it off from wherever it is. But here's the processor. There are two very tiny openings along the bottom, and those are the microphones. This big circle is a push button. That's how you're going to get to your background noise mode. We'll practice that. On the side is a little wheel that I'll practice. We'll practice how you can feel for to turn the volume up and down. And on the back, this is what's connecting to the post, and there's a battery door underneath it that swings open and closed. Oh, wow. So will you be changing your own batteries or are you going to be letting other people uh, do it I for you? I might try and then yeah. I can. Can you, can you feel for it? Can you find the door and swing it open? Yeah, you got it. That's it. Might have to get a little bit of fingernails. Yeah, is it hard to get under there? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you have weird fingers like I do. There you there go. go. That's it. Okay. So like I said, this runs on 675 batteries. It might be larger than the hearing aid batteries you've had before. But just like hearing aid batteries, there will be a little sticker on the top. And you'll have to peel that sticker off to use the battery. The sticker is what keeps batteries good for several years. So this package is good until 2018. You don't want to peel the stickers off till right before you use them so that the batteries stay good for that long. I remember I was little because I was like yeah. nine and I thought you should just tear them off. Uh, you're not the only one. That's why we <laughs> warn people, don't, don't tear it off till right before you're going to use it. I can't also take it off. So, so my can dad you? started taking them. He's a farmer. Oh, yeah? So he had to use them for a, a device he had. Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, I have to use some of those. So you just tear that off. <laughs> yep. And you're welcome to stick it on me. I can throw oh. that sticker away. <laughs> and then there's a... And it's like the other one. You've got That's exactly, yeah. you've got it exactly right. You don't even need my instruction. That is perfect. Can you just slide it on? When that door is closed, the processor is going to come on and work. So anytime it's off your head, you're going to want to crack that door open so that it doesn't drain the battery. Perfect. Right. And there is in your kit a, a case Oh, okay. Where you can put it when it's not in use, and it'll let you keep the battery door open in the case oh, okay. so that it won't run. That's much better than what they used to give you. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be these little plastic, uh, they look like ring boxes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I hate them because they, they would break so easy. This one's a little more sturdy, but we have extras, so if you break it, let us know. <laughs> Also in your kit are a few things, because they don't really separate out the pediatric kits from the adult kits, you know, first of all, even though you're an adult, you may like some of the fun I stickers like that they have, <laughs> and you are welcome to put those on the button, those little circles, you 
can, Are these reusable or are they? Uh, I think they're one time. I've had some people say they can reuse them if they're careful, but there's a sheet of stickers that you're more than welcome to. to yeah, you can fancy up your mm -hmm. processor. I can accessorize. <laughs> do you have seasonal ones? Like, can you do any sticker or do you have to use like some I'm sure stickers? you can do any sticker. Okay, some false as long as you're not covering up the microphones on the bottom, you're fine. <laughs> Um, that's right. I'm a simple girl. I got a sister. And this is called a safety line. Now, this gets used by kids a lot more than adults. Oh. But if you're afraid that the processor could get knocked off, um, it's kind of like a, a camera strap. You can loop oh, okay. one side of the fishing line to the processor. Like a headband. Yeah, connect the other kind to your blouse, and then if it fell off, it would swing. Now, you felt how hard this snaps on. Really, it's going to take some effort to knock it off. Okay. So this is like for kids who play sports or, or, or kids who are just so young they don't know better and right. might pull it off. But I do have some adults who are very concerned they're going to lose the processor and use the safety line. I might use that for like maybe emergency, like if I'm yeah. doing something like so crowded. Yeah. Because I'm going to take it to concerts because it might no. be too loud. <laughs> we're doing last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might be too loud. <laughs> but that's the safety line, and it's in your kit with the, with the toothbrush, with the case. And then this, in this little pouch, the first thing they have is called the multi-tool. One end is a magnet, and that's because, like I was saying, batteries are magnetic. So if you dropped one on the floor and were having a hard time reaching it, you could use that. Oh, a long way. They didn't have those in our Yeah. <laughs> Inside is also a brush. Most of my patients uh, clean it with their, their toothbrush, but if you didn't have that on hand and wanted to brush off anything okay. you saw on the processor, you could. If you have anybody who wants to hear the way you hear, this is a way you can kind of share that experience. Oh, wow. You can attach the processor, sorry if you don't okay. mind, to this little stick. And the person, if they have normal hearing, they're going to have to plug their ears. Right. But then if they hold it up to their head, they will hear the way you hear in that processor. Oh, so you can wow. kind of let other people or your kids I listen. I that with vision. That'd be yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a little way you can kind of share what you're hearing. Okay. So if somebody's like, oh, you can hear fine, just take it off the ear. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And it'll go through there. The, Sound waves will go through their bone just like it's going through your bone. <laughs> they also have two little caps in here, which really you're perfectly fine leaving the post exposed, but some people, especially gentlemen, if they don't have hair that'll cover the post, yeah. sometimes want a cap on there so it's less visible. And there are a couple of caps that's just for the post when you're not wearing the processor. Oh, now because your hair. hair. Oh yeah. As long as the, the big fear is going to be, is it going to get too close to the processor and make it whistle? Not that it's going to cause any actual issues with the side. But now I wear like cloth uh, headbands. Yeah. Wear, like, yeah. Headbands. Yeah. It shouldn't have any effect as long as it's not close enough to cause feedback. That'd be my like, I'd be at church right Yeah. I'd be like, no. So the first thing you'll have to do is close the battery door. You'll have to find the place where the post is on your head, and you'll, you felt how hard it snapped when I put it on. It's a pretty hard snap, so you'll have to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Probably going to have to start putting my hair, like, up in a ponytail first or something. <laughs> Oop, it's whistling. It's whistling because um, your hand is there. Oh, it Once is. it is snapped yeah. into place and you take it away, it should stop whistling. Oh, okay. So, but it can be annoying when you're yeah, learning. That is hard. <laughs> to kind of find the exact spot and to kind of manipulate it. Kind of trick it in there. This is the hardest part. And you won't believe, give it a, a week or two, what a pro you'll be at finding that spot. Good. Yeah. You're in the right spot. I think you just might have to push a little harder. Yeah, it keeps sliding. Oh. <laughs>
And this is also something that when you get home, you can practice without a battery until you get the hang of it. And then we could put a battery in and you wouldn't have to deal with the, the feedback or the whistle. And if it's bothering you, I can take the battery out now. Yeah, let's do just that. Just so you first. don't have to listen to the whistle while you're getting used to it. I think that's what it is. My brain keeps yelling at me. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're in the right spot. It's a matter of getting the angle and pushing it on hard enough. Yeah, I thought I had it. Uh, yeah, I thought you did too. Looks like you're on it. Of course, once it gets in that area, it's hard for me to see if it's lined yeah. up perfectly. But I know you're in the right area. Yeah, like